You can get into this exercise in one of two ways and I will show you both. But no matter what, make sure that your feet are not on a tightrope. They are on train tracks. So there's gonna be width between your feet and legs. I'll show you from the side. So you can start either from the floor or from a standing position. If you're starting on the floor, you can still start standing, feet hip width apart, step one foot back, and then come down to a kneeling position. From here, make sure that your front knee, or sorry, back knee, is back behind your hip just a little bit so that there's a straight line going from your knee to your hips all the way up through your torso and to the top of your head. So you will lean a little bit forward on this exercise. Your front knee should align over midfoot and you should be able to press the majority of your weight down through this front leg as you stand up. And then the reps would be lower down, not to the floor again, that was just for the setup, and stand up, right? Lower down, press through this front foot and stand. When you are ready for a little bit more, you can hold onto a dumbbell on the side of your back leg. Get the form down first, of course, but then once you're ready, challenge your strength with whatever dumbbell or kettlebell feels challenging to you for the allotted reps. Now, if you wanted to start this from standing, you could do so. I do recommend if you're beginning, get down on the floor first so you can get into the proper alignment like I showed you. Then you can start from standing and simply step back. Now I know roughly how far back my leg needs to be and lower down and up. Hips point forward, not out to the side. Pressing through this leg and you'll feel it in your quads and in your glutes.